Well, now, this is all very interesting. It's exactly as I thought. Almost to the letter. You told me exactly what I wanted to hear. Thank you, my dear. Not that you had much choice. I'm sorry it has come to this. Hmm. That truth spell dug deep into your mind, didn't it? You're in shock. But you shouldn't feel ashamed, darling. In the end, whether you realize it or not, you did the right thing. I knew you held resentments towards the Order. But by the gods, the coldness behind those insults. They had me frozen to the core. <laughs> it's refreshing. Hearing the truth of the heart always is. You look so grim. And it doesn't suit you. It's alright. In time, you will understand that there is nothing to be afraid of. With your report of the Council's actions, I know exactly what we must do next. All of the suffering and pain will be ending soon. When we get the revenge we deserve, just as I said, I will train you in the ways of magic. You're a quick learner. You will match my pace soon enough. But whether you're willing to help me or not, I don't care much. <laughs> Which brings me to the last topic of business. Your heartfelt confession of love to me could convince any man to fall to his knees. It is befitting of such a pretty thing such as yourself. But unfortunately for you, I am not just any man. It would take more than some honey words to sway me, my dear. For powerful mages like us, it takes a little more direction. I just have to give that small, gentle push. Some sweet words whispered in the right ears. A soft touch at the right time. For someone to become buddy in my hands. I believe I made that very clear for you already. Didn't I, my dear? <laughs> it seems that blush has graced your cheeks again. It's becoming one of my favorite things about you. Oh, don't hide your face. It's nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, it's rather endearing doesn't take much imagination to get what you want. I wanted compliance. You wanted my attention. And so, I gave it to you. But unfortunately for people like us, nothing comes for free. <sighs> to tell you the truth, it was not unexpected. Sadly, I cannot return your feelings. Nothing personal, my dear. In war, some terrible things must be done to increase the odds of victory. Don't misunderstand me. It is not my intention to break your heart. But indeed, it is a regrettable consequence. You poor thing. You're stunned to silence. It must be difficult, being cornered in such a way. There are no tears on your face but you can't hide it from me. In the end, this whole affair is far beyond your naive ideals. I almost pity you. You're so keen to do whatever it takes, but now you realize, so am I. I'm just playing the game, my dear. If it's any consolation, out of every being that has graced my doorstep since my exile, you were the closest to catching my attention. Despite our clear differences, I did feel some sort of bond between us. <sighs> Do you not have anything to say? You've barely moved since I started talking. Are you even listening, dear? I appreciate your politeness, but your silence, it's concerning. Did that truth spell really addle your brain this... You're hiding something from me. What? 
What is the meaning of this? Have you gone mad? Why are you grinning? My truth spell. Impossible. There's not a chance that it failed. I saw the struggle in your mind. I heard all of those confessions. I felt the trueness in those words clearly. The illusion of truth? What nonsense is that? You cast a magical barrier, and a complex one too. But you were clueless about everything. I had you right where I wanted you. But even so, even so, everything you confessed to me was exactly what I wanted to hear. You changed my desire for the truth into my desire itself. It was all too good to be true, wasn't it? You merely spoke the words I wanted you to say. Oh, very clever, my dear. But do not forget, you are in my domain. To cross me here is the last mistake you'll make. <laughs> my legs, they won't move. You dare to use my spell against me. You were supposed to be brainwashed, a means to an end. I know everything about you. The classified documents, the experiments, everything. Underestimating you this much is unthinkable. Don't get any closer, love. Fool me twice, shame on me. In case you have forgotten, I am the greatest threat to face your realm. There is a reason for that. If you dare... You... Released me. Are you serious? Did you not understand my warnings? You could have tried to strike me down right here. It appears that I gravely misunderstood you. <laughs> now things are getting interesting. Care to explain yourself, darling? You came here on your own accord. <laughs> By the gods. To say that a group of liberated sorcerers want to recruit me. <laughs> I have no reason to believe that such a fantasy exists. But please, by all means, tell me your tale. If I'm hearing you correctly, my dear, you're saying that this whole time you were simply assessing my worth? You were just one surprise after another. <laughs> when I said you were more than a pretty face, I had no idea, did I? Yes, I can see it now. That fire in your eyes has returned. This is the real truth. Oh, how humiliating. It seems that you have caught me in your web, darling. But something still doesn't add up. After all the pain I've caused, the people hate me. And rightly so. I've ended so many. Destroyed. Wreaked mayhem and caused great pain. Your little group should want nothing to do with me. No. I can't bring more innocent people into my bloodstained business. This ends here. No more games. Not when I'm so close to my goal. What do you mean? Our first meeting on the battlefield? Is now really the time to be reminiscing, darling? I didn't think you were that sentimental. Though I admit, it does please me that you understand what I saw in us. The raw potential gathering in the air when our eyes met. That moment changed our fates. My magic was familiar to you. Yes. You realized it was just the same as your own. This war was not as clear-cut as you suspected. There's more to it? What is that letter you're holding? Is this real? Where did you get this? It was stolen by one of your spies? 
I hate to admit it, but this is the real deal. I would recognize this handwriting anywhere. So, this is what it has come to. It was under our nose this whole time. And yet, I was blinded by my hatred. This letter from the General Bruza. I was made into a scapegoat. The enemy of the people. Reduced to a threat to unite the realm under a common cause. Any chance I had to incite resistance was silenced after I was trapped there. I... I would have disappeared into nothing but a bad memory. Just like all the others. The reason behind my violence wasn't what made you search for me. It was the Order's designs for the seeds of tyranny to grow. I understand now. You do not take me from my freedom on purpose. You offer me a second chance. You truly care, despite everything. So be it, love. Here's our situation. There are two options of leaving this place. The jailer that bound me here sets us free. Or we destroy this place with our powers together. And I trust we both know which option is the more reliable. Well then... Shall we get started, my dear? Oh, you always know exactly what I want to hear. 